ready. There we go. Except there's no sound. There we go. Okay. So we had this mission to go to like immediately. I really wish the craft order wasn't like this. I suppose I can move them. Nope. Never mind. Uh alright, armor. Did I did I do that? I did. I'm glad I did that. Alright. So let's go straight to the mission then. Kabam, look at that speed. Isn't it beautiful? Now I just gotta go through and make sure everyone has um equipment. I'm guessing some people are missing yeah, some people are missing electro flares. Uh it hasn't auto equipped them for a few people. And a few of the rookies at the back could make use of um Some of these grenades. Just in case one of them needs to double smoke, it means I don't have to worry about them not having it. Uh, did I prime all of these? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just gonna double check that. Okay, I did, so that was a waste of time. No one else is carrying a spare. Alright, um. Maybe you grab one and someone at the back ish. Maybe one more at the back ish. Oh. Right, this is a supply ship. Or is it a terror ship? Um. Double doors, I'm thinking terror, not supply. Uh, two Reapers. Cool, cool. Three reapers, interesting. Four reapers. <laughs> uh Okay. That's uh that's a fun experience. Those things are a pain in the ass to kill. Right buddy. Split on down. Wait. Uh, hang on. The people at the front don't even have smokes. The smokes have been distributed to like the middle. That's dumb. Yeah. That that's actually really dumb. Whatever. Work right near the door, so it's nice and dense there. In here. The Reapers aren't a big concern. Um, I might do one more right in front of us. Just so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm thinking there's four Reapers, it's almost impossible that I can kill all of them. But what I can do is like, maybe put a smoke here, in front of the tank, that way only this Reaper has um, line of sight, and he hasn't seen us yet, so he doesn't know we exist. Actually his friend has seen us though, so I guess he knows. Um, and from there I'm thinking the tank will survive the reaper attack, because it's just a reaper. Um, and we're probably pretty good to go from there. So. 
Bruno cannot hit anything. Come on, buddy. Alright, we'll take care of this one if we can. Emphasis on if we can. It's <laughs> a lot of shots, this guy will not be able to shoot. Actually, maybe he can shoot from here. Nice. And then he can sprint down to join everyone else. Sprint. Good boy. That... what? Okay. Apparently Sprint shares the move command with... Keep looking the way you're looking, but move in the direction I tell you to. <laughs> now I know. Actually, that's just a um, pistol. It's not actually a big concern. I guess while we're here, we might as well take the shot. Plus, it's a rookie, so experience is always nice. Another rookie. Mess him up, fam. Mm. Okay. Good effort. I like it, the rookies who just take shots from the ship. Because I don't think they have enough time units to neatly get out. 18, so you can step aside after taking a shot. Actually, no, we can't. Well, alright, you can though. Maybe you can if you do that. No. <laughs> oh well. Come on, buddy. There we go. And now step aside. Oh, I forgot to tell him to sprint. Uh, okay. No line of fire. Well... Sure, shoot that one, why not? Um, separate it is, okay. So we're gonna need that one over here. And then you can take a shot and step aside. Like so. Still annoyed about the grenade thing. I, I don't remember this ever being a problem. So, I'm thinking maybe <laughs> at some point I just used to um, give everyone primed grenades. That seems like something that is very me to do. And I mean, when you do that, obviously it doesn't matter the position of um, people on the ship. And it looks like we might be able to take out these reapers after all. That's the tank. I, that that laser just went through the tank. That's okay. And kind of weird, but it's okay. Oof. Delicious laggy laser shots. Get him. Well, you hit the cactus. You hit the reaper. You hit the reaper again. Alright, that's not bad. You're up, friend. No line of fire. Try again. Bit, bit tall, bit tall. I, okay. That, I really hope we don't get grenaded. That would be very unfortunate. And I mean, it wouldn't be the first time <laughs> that we get grenaded. I'll just get this guy to float when he takes it. He can't. 
Seriously? You can't see it from there? Ah, uh, fine. What about that? Right. There we go. Can't kill out there. Uh, so just go over there. Except you can't. Don't worry about it. I forgive you. So quite a bit of movement, but nothing that we see. Mostly because of the smoke. Uh, we lost sight of that reaper. Here he is. Uh, we'll get the rookies to take the shots if they can. This guy's a squatty, but really should probably be a rookie. There we go. This is primed, yep. So we might uh, chuck that way into the distance. There's a bit of cover from that side. Maybe another one over there. For whoever has a spell. Jawahia. Jawahia? I don't know how to say that. It's your lucky day, you get to throw a grenade. Bam. It's my grenade though. I guess that's not as exciting. But hey, it's just as useful, if not more. And we see something? Floater on the roof. Alright. Uh, so the guys inside can probably take the shot. Yep. I mean, I guess there's a bit of an important differentiation between being able to take the shot and then being able to land the shot. It's fine. We forgive them. Because we're cool like that. I think that hit. He just didn't die. Because I mean, it, it should be physically impossible for that to have hit the ground. I'm thinking I did hit the floater. Oof. This guy's a pretty good shot, hey? For a rookie. 62, that's pretty good. This is still there. Other tank. Go forth, explore the world for me. And I think we'll start lining our guys up for a very, very future breach. We have so many guys, it's almost inconvenient to have so many. So that's six, maybe we'll have two squads of seven and four spares. Nice little hill just for you. He has no time units. Oh, he made it. I actually didn't think he would. <laughs> it was kind of close, I guess. And a seasoned soldier. Somehow hasn't died yet, despite all the random things we put her through that maybe should have killed her. And then we have four guys here who are considered the spares. Uh, I'll get them to hang around the ship until I have a better task for them. Three of them are rookies as well. Oh, this door opening than I expected. Okay, well, there's a third one. That makes it about par, I guess. Hello. Oh, there's another guy. I don't think it's a pistol. Let's just get in his blind spot. There's a third guy. Uh, but we can't see him. Oh, it's just a pistol. No worries. Uh, I don't have enough to turn and look at the corner. My bad. 
Um, we get everyone to shuffle along by one. Alright. You don't really need the experience that much. Kino does. Pick him out. You hit the tank. But you hit the floater as well, so I guess I forgive you. All is okay. Also, this is a lot of Reapers. Like, if this thing managed to land in a city, it would really suck. Alright, now I'll try to finish it off with the rookie. Ooh, no, over his head. Okay, never mind. You're up. Again. Nope, that didn't work. Alright. No, we don't want you having experience. I'm gonna call you Tommy. Tommy finished the job. Good job, Tommy. Billy... Billy... I don't think it actually has much combat experience. I think the stats are just kind of pretty good out of the gate. And the problem with the other stats is he has awful bravery. The lowest you can get is 10, and she has it. And her reactions are also pretty awful for someone with Pretty good stats everywhere else. Ooh, it's a long shot to make. I honestly didn't think he had line of sight. Ooh, no. Alright. Got Tommy to take the shot. He needs the experience slightly more. Nicely done. Hopefully the tank doesn't die to something around the corner. So it's at one level above. Maybe someone here can take the shot then. Because it might not be blocked. There we go. Not very accurate shooting, but... Hey, there we go. Colonel Bruno. Saving the day. Alright. Okay, I guess there's something inside the ship, which we didn't fully see, but we sort of saw. I'm also guessing there's nothing out here that I haven't already killed. Alright, so we'll get the hover tanks to rejoin the crews at the doors. Float on home. And we'll just chill. Wait for them to come out and we'll shoot them. Perfect, it's a Reaper. For some reason there's like a sixth Reaper. It's way too many. Like an unreasonable amount of chair units. Especially since this is a crashed UFO, it's not a landed one. But hey, I'm not gonna complain about free actions training. My main concern is they're gonna walk out, they're gonna chuck a grenade, and it's gonna suck. Just like it sucked the last time they did it. Also, I have a new job for this motley crew of four people. You can join in the reactions training so that no one gets bitten to death, probably. And if you get bitten to death by a Reaper, then you probably deserved it. And he's dead. Perfect. Motley crew back to the metal. Alright. I'm gonna start moving the guys up, but I also want to spread them out. There's seven of them. Maybe we'll make it eight. Yeah, eight's nice. And then we'll just have a crew of two who don't do anything. 
yet. Uh, so we'll spread it out with a space in between each guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we'll just fan them out so that they're all roughly the same distance from the doors. Actually, I think this guy's too close. I think he's supposed to be there. Not 100% sure. But it doesn't really matter. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Almost there already. On this side it looks kind of misaligned, which is weird. But I guess it's also because my ship is not quite in center. Oh, maybe it is. Oh no, the this is the middle of the ship. So yeah, my ship is slightly off center. But only slightly. So the navigator's panicking. Well, not panicking, they're going berserk. But the medic is panicking. No further panicking. Honestly, I think I will add the Motley crew into the mix. And we'll just all look pretty at the doors. But what I will do is get the hover tanks to stand in the way. So that they're the first thing seen and the idea is they're the first thing shot. Navigator uh, panicking. Medic going berserk. Wasting my um, ammo because I'm going to collect it off their corpse. Medic still panicking. Sorry, going berserk. Floater leader. Okay, so there's a leader in there, there's a medic in there, there's a navigator in there. At least. Maybe more. I mean, there were six reapers, so I wouldn't be surprised if there was quite a few more floaters than we've seen, like, panicking and going berserk. So I'm guessing there's a lot more than three, because we've only killed one, two, three, four floaters, five floaters, six floaters. So. If there's only 9 floaters in the total crew, that seems really low. I guess that's not impossible. Also, these guys are just panicking, so I might just go find them. Or at the very least, get the hover tanks to hunt them down. That's the gun on the floor, so someone was panicking there. Ah, the power supply is all busted up. God damn it, there's four of them, that would have been a really good find. Oh well. Tanks don't have very good reactions, so there's a pretty low risk of me accidentally killing someone which I want to, you know, not kill. And I'll start sending in people who have flying suits that have like not top of the line stats. Anna's pretty close, but I'm running out of flying suits, so I'll send her in anyway. Flying suits just minimize the risk because they have more armor. Anna doesn't need it. Uh, I'm out of suits. We'll send some power suits in as well, I guess. Illy, I guess. Sure. Maybe a squad of six on each side. Actually, no, there's only one elevator. We don't really need this many people. So just two squads of four is good. And everyone else can just sit back and do nothing. In we got. 
Actually. Do I even need this many people? Not really. Oh well. Because the the doorway is only three wide, so doesn't doesn't really make that much sense. I have to like get this guy to kneel. And they can shoot over his head. <laughs> Uh, who is more disposable? 57 reactions, 50 reactions, they're both okay. You're not very brave though. You're gonna stand in the front. But if they shoot, they're more likely to hit you. Because we love you. Very much. Still nothing. I might move in. More dudes. There's um six on each side, and I got the guys in front to kneel as well. Oh, in front, on the sides to kneel as well. Who wants XP? Not you. Maybe you. Or sure, you too. Juzu and Matthew Leroy, but like only one East, so maybe Leroy. I don't know, man. A lot of names used in this game, which I don't really encounter in reality. So, who knows how you say them? I'm also really curious, where did this guy even go? Like, is did he go upstairs? Did he panic so much that he just, like, went upstairs? Hello. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. There's another guy. Wait, he's shooting us. Yeah, he's dead now, though. Uh, I'm worried about grenades. Quite worried about grenades. I didn't realize there was holes in the floor, but I guess that kind of makes sense because the um, power sources blew up. Also, this is probably the first time in this playthrough we've seen these glowy walls. Apparently they're alien entertainment. I guess when we search them I'll, I'll read it off and give you a better idea. It like hooks into your brain and directly gives you like the entertainment um, Receptors of your brain, like it interfaces with them or, or something, I don't know, I don't remember. It's not really important. They're one of the dead end um, research things, or like you research it and then you know about it and then it has absolutely no application at all. Which is actually kind of unfortunate, they could have done something interesting with that. So 14, 16, 16. Didn't lose anyone, which is great. Ran out of smoke grenades, of course. 